Hi, this is Justin from Tech65 and today we are here at the HP Touchpad launch in Singapore. And of course here we have the HP Touchpad with us today. This is uh, a, a, the first look of the HP Touchpad and um, you know this device it's uh, it's fairly great. It's the first time we've ever seen web OS in Singapore or rather really in this region itself. And um, you know it's it's very very uh, multitasking oriented and all that. But let's get into the device first, okay? This device is running HP Web OS 3.0 with uh, it's able to run Adobe Flash in your web browser itself. So let's take a look at it, okay? Adobe Flash. Um, not too sure whether if the network is good, but let's take a look at our website here and see whether it actually loads the Flash content on our website. So there we go, we can see that YouTube is able to load up. So Flash content is able to load up and we can actually play the content. All right. So let's get into the, the hardware itself before we actually go into uh, the, the you know Adobe Flash and all of that. This device is a 9.7 inch screen, touchscreen capacitive. It has a, uh, a front-facing camera, but no back-facing camera, no rear camera at all. This is just the HP. It's a very nice, smooth uh, uh, finish. A little bit glossy here and there, but uh, you know, in terms of that, you know, in terms of the weight, it's kind of a little bit hefty. It's a little bit more heavier than um, you know your regular iPad 2 or other devices out there. But it's it's kind of okay, you know, in terms of the weight. If you don't mind the weight. It's running a Qualcomm Snapdragon Dual Core 1.2 GHz. So this is a really, really fast power horse device uh, that you can actually use. A lot of multitasking, so let's get into the operating system itself. Okay, so uh, I'm, well, that's what I'm saying. We have, I have the Bluetooth keyboard connected to this guy. This is the, we call it touch tone dock. So what it does is uh, when, you, when you dock it, it will charge the, this device immediately. All right. So this is basically an inductive uh, technology. There is no wire connected to it. Okay. So this is the accessories. Um, okay, let me just go to the products. Okay, so the strength of our touchpad is basically we are talking about uh, we are talking about the multitasking, right? I think uh, Serena mentioned that just now. This is what we call the. I have a few application running in the background, right? I have the. Um, this is the the, the beam map. Okay. This is the. This is the the, the browser. These are my app store. Right. I have my uh, my Facebook. I have this. Uh, I have this. Uh, another apps running in the background. I have my games. I have my email running all at the same time. The email will continue to come in. Right. So that's multitasking. And anytime I can bring it back, and it's still running from where I stop. I can pause it. It was just stop there. Right. I can switch move on and, and go to my Facebook. Right. For the Facebook here, basically, you know, just do your normal Facebook. Right. You can read your normal stuff. I can go back again. Um, I can go to my app store to look for my apps, right? Or I can go to the the browser to surf, you know, just do a normal surfing, right? So um, these are a few things. This is uh, what we call the multitasking. You can group them. This is what we call we, we call them cards. You can group them. For example, if these two tasks are, are similar, I can just pull it and then drag it and stack them together. So that it's easier for me to come back here and uh, you know look for the things that I want. I, I want Is it to possible do. to flip between them? Yeah, when again, that how? just hold it, bring it to the front. Right? So you know you can do either way you want to do. Right? So that's about multitasking. And anytime of course I want to close it, just flip it out and close it. Right? Close it. Right? That's I realize you can also bounce it. Oh out. yeah, yeah. That's a, a, a more fun way to do it. <laughs> Alright, uh, but normal way should be that way, right? Now, uh, that, that's the number one. The second one is what we call the uh, synergy. Synergy is basically to bring all your different uh, information at different places into one view, right? For example, my 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 email here. I have my HP account. I have my Gmail, my Google, 
So I can I can put all of them under one view. So now I have all my email here. Of course, if I want, I can just look at my HP email. Right? And then if I want, if I if I want to look at Google, I can do that as well. Alright, but I don't have any email yet. Right. So of course, if you are just looking at the, if you are just if, if I'm decided just looking at HP, of course I can just hide this one and just looking at everything, right? And you can even look at the whole view for the email that you are reading, right? So other than email, the synergy works also for the for the uh, for the for the calendar as well. Okay. So now. I have all my Gmail, my Facebook, uh, my HP, everything is uh, is under one view. All right. So if you look at it here, this is my one month calendars. I have all my calendars, including all the birthdays, that is actually pulled down for all the Facebook. Right. Uh, and, it, and you can connect to uh, all the G, the Gmail, calendars. Gmail right, the calendars, calendars, you can set it up. Gmail, Yahoo. So uh, for the for, for Google calendars, you can have multiple calendars in a Google. Will it pull down all the calendars from uh, from Google Calendar? It will pull down everything from the Google. Um, and then Singapore holidays. There yeah. Go. So this so is yeah, this is for Google. Yeah, do. it's possible to do. Yes. Okay. So once you're done. Um, yeah, so basically you can you can you can you can toggle around. If I don't want to see Google's, just switch it off. Everything will be gone. So you know it's very good. It's basically a synergy that the HP is. Uh, it, it, this is where our strength is, right? So that's uh, one of them. And of course, the just type is another uh, features that uh, we do. Um, you know, a lot of people do uh, search, uh, but this guy here, if I if I do search, I can do a lot more than just search. For example, if I um, if I touch uh, if I type touch pack, right? You can decide what you want to do with this. Uh, you can either launch some apps here. You can even do a you know if 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 it, it happened to be somebody that you know you know if I type a person's name, then you go into the address lookup. Or you can even do go into email. You know, it, 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 it's translate into actions rather than search. It actually do than that. Now, if I do touchpad and go to email, it actually pull out all the email that is related to touchpad. So it actually translate into actions, not just searching, right? So, and you can either you know put into I can say touchpad launch. Then the next thing I can do is to touch on the calendars and add it into my one of my uh, uh, calendars event, right? So the touchpad, the just type is more than just type and search, right? So that's uh, I think these are the three key things that we are, will continue to highlight uh, as one of the uh, the three key features that we are going to continue to highlight, right? So. I think that that's all about the features. Of course, the rest of things, um, you know, you can still do your entertainment, you know, etc. Uh, the Beats Audio is definitely one of the, uh, you know, it's our DNA for HP. We'll continue to have all the products with the, with the Beats Audio. Right? All right, thank you very much. No problem. And that's pretty much it for the first look of this HP Web OS device. So uh, check out all our videos on tech65.org or our YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching.